Hello there, my beautiful friend. Thanks so much for joining me today. This is going to be a beautiful morning wake up flow. And we're going to start this one in a standing forward fold. So let's go ahead and meet. We can meet at the top of our mat in our most beautiful standing forward fold. It's the morning time, so a big bend in these knees. Hands are on the mat here or shins maybe and if it feels good you could grab opposite elbows and maybe take a little sway left to right finding stillness here is also a good option just saying good morning here Letting the body know what's coming. Beginning to bring that awareness to the breath. The nice inhale and exhale. We're gonna go ahead and plant this left hand in the middle of our feet right above it. And then we're gonna inhale the right hand up towards the ceiling, bending through that left knee. And maybe playing with straightening that right one, seeing how that feels here. And on an exhale, we release right hand plants. And now the left hand sweeps up. Big bend in that right knee. And maybe playing with straightening through that left knee. Just seeing what that feels like here. And slowly we release, coming back into our forward fold. We'll come up halfway lift, long lengthen spine. Pull those shoulders away from the ears. Exhale, fold. Inhale, peel up to standing here. Rolling those shoulder blades down the back body. Head and neck come last. Go ahead and put that big smile on your face here. We're shift the weight over into the left. Pick up this right foot. Catch it with this. these hands. We're catching the knee, not the foot. And then the ankle rolls here. Roll one way, and then let's reverse it and go the other way. Beautiful. We're gonna take a big step back with this right foot, coming in for our warrior two here. Open up these arms to parallel. Back foot is at a pivot here. Breathing. And let's go ahead and give ourselves the biggest hug we've given ourselves all day. Pivot the feet over. We're coming into warrior two on this other side. So our back right foot is pivot. Our back left foot is pivoted. Right foot is out front. Open up these arms, warrior two. Breathing. We're gonna take a big step forward. And we're going to grab that knee and take those ankle rolls on this side. And let's reverse those ankle rolls. Oh, yeah. And we will release here. Beautiful little shake out. And we're going to inhale these arms up. Gaze can follow. And exhale, we slice through the sky. Half lift. Exhale, we plant the hands and step the feet back into a plank. Lower down the knees and then the chest and the chin. Roll through into our cobra. And everybody's going to push back and meet downward facing dog. This is our first down dog of the day. So go ahead and just pedal these feet out. Stretching through the hamstring. Should feel really nice to hang out here for just a minute.
And when it feels good, we're gonna lift that right leg up, three leg dog, roll it forward, step it in between the hands, lower down that back knee, rise up, low lunge, hands overhead, breathing. Not holding or clenching the breath here. Let's go ahead and tuck those back toes. And then on an inhale, we rise up, high lunge. And we're breathing. We are not holding or clenching the breath here. And we're gonna twist to the right. You're gonna open up these arms if that feels good for you. Right hand's gonna drop, left hand sweeps up. Little revolved side angle or exalted warriors, what this would be. <sighs> Breathing, smiling. We're gonna pivot around and open up warrior two here. Beautiful, checking out that alignment in those feet. We're gonna bring this right elbow to right knee. Left hand goes around front. Big lift here. Left hand's gonna plant, back foot's gonna pivot, right hand sweeps up. Oh yeah. Revolved side angle. We're coming into our revolved skandasana here, so pivot to the outside edges of the feet. Breathing, these IT bands can get really, really junky here. Pivoting back around, coming around to Skandasana here. Hands at heart center. Should have done this the other way. It's okay. Breathing. Chest is lifted. You can have your hands on the mat if you need to. And we're going to use some power here to push up to Goddess. Cactus those arms. Breathe. And open up warrior two here on this right side. Oh yeah, beautiful yogis you are. Windmill these hands, framing this foot and stepping it back, plank. Beautiful, you can do knees, chest, chin, or we're gonna push forward and lower down Skandasana. Push up, that is not Skandasana. <laughs> and then we meet back downward facing dog. Oh my words today, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay, Stephanie. We've been recording 30 Days of Yoga. I took a small break, and my words can't seem to come out today, and that's okay. I hope you're still here with me. We're going to inhale that right foot up. I mean, left leg up. Three leg dog. Roll it forward. Step it in between the hands. Lower down that back knee. Low lunge here. Arms up and overhead. Big smiles on faces. Tuck those back toes and allow yourself to rise up on an inhale. Oh yeah, high lunge. Let's twist to the left. Allow that left hand to drop, right hand sweeps up. Really feeling into this. And we're gonna pivot and open up warrior two here. Oh yeah, making sure the alignment's good. Arms are parallel to our mat here. Hips are neutral. Left elbow, left knee, right hand up and overhead. Make sure that chest is radiating up. We are not rounding. Beautiful. Back foot's going to pivot. Right hand plants. Left hand sweeps up. Beautiful. Pivot to the outside edges of the feet. This revolved skandasana here. Should feel great on those IT bands. We can get awful bound up there too. Coming around, Skandasana, hands at heart center or on the mat. Choice is yours. Big lift here. Oh, yes. And we're coming through goddess, so using some power here. 
Bringing those arms into our cactus. Big smiles on faces. Maybe taking some pulses this time. It feels good for you. Maybe even coming up on the tiptoes. Really giving it some play time here if you feel like it. <sighs> Breathing. Opening up warrior two here on this left side. Oh yeah, For windmill these hands, framing the foot, stepping it back, plank. You can take knees, chest, chin, or push forward, chaturanga, push up, up dog. Everybody meets me, downward facing dog. Very nicely done. We're gonna hop, step, or jump to our yogi squat at the top of the mat. So feet come to the outside edges and our elbows push against our knees here. Lift up nice and tall. Big sit back on our booties. Send that left leg out long, right foot crosses over this left leg. Inhale the arms up, exhale we fold. And we breathe, gazes forward, not at our knees, trying to keep the spine as long as possible. Trying not to focus on the pain in the leg or the stretch in the leg. There shouldn't be any pain, maybe a slight discomfort. <sighs> Slowly peel up, release the feet, right leg goes out, left comes over, right. Inhale the arms up, exhale we fold. Breathing, no holding or clenching the breath here. We are moving that tension around, we are not allowing it to persist. Our breath, we can imagine, is melting the tension away. Slowly we peel up. Now this left leg's gonna come out, meet in the right. Plant the hands right beside your booty here. We're gonna send the hips up. Maybe walking the feet slightly forward if it feels good. Maybe sending the head back, a little revolved plank. Send the hips up a little higher. Engage here. And slowly we release. Hug the knees and let's go ahead and rock and roll here. If you're not into the rocking and rolling, you can just meet me on your back. We're gonna do a little core work here. <sighs> Legs up. And let's go ahead and take the hands overhead. And we're just gonna try to touch the feet 10 times. So let's go for one, all the way back down, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Hold. Yep, you got this. Breathe. We're not holding and clenching that breath. And release. Hands go under the legs. Legs remain up in the air. And now we're going to do leg lowers. We got this pointed or flex toes up to you. I like to do it with pointed toes. And let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine, you got this, one more, and 10. Beautiful, hug the knees in, biggest hug. You've given yourself all week. And let's come in for some bridge. So bringing the feet to the mat, making sure that you can feel those heels here. And now we'll pick those hips up. Engage in the glutes and the core. Thighs engaged. Very active pose here. One, two, 
one more round of breath. And slowly we'll release one, she'll wipe those legs. We're gonna come into it again. If you wanna take full wheel and you feel like you are there, you can go ahead and be my guest. Otherwise, let's make sure our alignment is right. And then we'll engage the glutes and the thighs to send them up. Maybe interlacing the hands and tucking the shoulders here. Maybe playing with taking one foot off. Mm, releasing that foot and maybe try on the other side. Just seeing what it feels like here. And breathing. And gently, we release a big hug of those knees, take the arms and cactus or T, and allow the legs to go to the left, and gaze goes towards the right here. Maybe bringing this left hand to that right knee, if that feels good, just keeping both shoulders on the mat. Come back to center, and then we're going to take the knees over towards the right. Gaze goes towards the left. Now you're bringing that right hand to that left knee. Both shoulders on the mat here. ourselves back up. If you want to take Shavasana, now is the time. Otherwise, we're going to meet in a comfy seat here. And we're just going to do a little meditation. So bring in the hands to heart center or on your knees, or you can be in Shavasana. Either way, we're just going to scan the body here. Noticing the points connected to the mat. How do your feet and toes feel right now? Sending your love to them. How do your legs, your knees, your thighs, your calves feel? Is there anywhere you can release tension from? What about those hips? How do they feel? Are you holding unnecessary stress there? How does the core feel? How do our internal organs feel here? What about the heart space? How full is that Anahata Chakra? How full is that beaming green light there? What about your neck, your throat? Do you feel free to express yourself? How does that feel? What about the face? Is your jaw clenched? Is your tongue on the roof of your mouth? Can you release through your forehead? Can the crown of your head grow any taller? Hmm. 
so much gratitude can be found here in this space that we create. What are you most thankful for right here and right now? Bring your hands to heart center. May you receive all the benefits of this beautiful morning practice and may your day be joyous, free, and full of love. Namaste. Mm. Thank you so much for joining me this morning. I love to practice in the mornings and start our days off right. So please, I challenge you today Use some love, some of that joy, maybe a little compassion towards our fellow beings. I hope you have a great rest of your day.